unsure. The funniest part of isolation is that you don't have to be alone to feel it, or not feel it, or not feel anything. I don't really know intimacy. She's the acquaintance I hype up like we really good friends when I couldn't tell you anything more about her than her name. I know love, but loving someone don't make you close. Just means you have enough of a pulse to endure this beating, this constant reminder that somehow you're still here, even though you don't feel like it. Sometimes I mistake my own reflection as a shadow, but it's more grounded than I am. And people don't understand. They see me on stage and wonder how I complain, not recognizing I'm the only one up here. Me, myself, and a reflection I don't recognize. People applaud these poems, just further justify what lies in my mind. The only worthy parts of yourself are the ones they can take, are the ones they accept. My skeleton is doing its best to claw its way out of this flesh to join all the rest of his kin in my wardrobe, to escape from this stage to finally be itself, raw and unkempt, but that's what isolation does. Forces you in the closet, makes that space feel more comfortable. The closer isolation draws near, the further everything else is, and it's just you, yourself, and a reflection you finally recognize. People misunderstand that most isolated people are in a love-hate relationship with it. They recognize it's killing them, but the comfort that kind of death brings is maddening. So yes, I want freedom from this cage, but I'm the only one holding the key most unsure of everything.